welcome back. This is Unfinished. I am your host. Ensure that you follow me on all social media platforms at SK Gitonga. Today, we are talking about uh, digital safety on taxi apps. On to our next question. How do you think the digital taxi apps ensure the safety of a passenger? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yes, they are doing enough. What I can say is that we ourselves are not reporting the cases. If you enter the car and there's an accident, you have to report. If, they are, if there's a disagreement, report. They'll get used to calling to you. They ask for your feedback. And they also report to the police and remove them from the service. In a taxi, like, kama una, una order, inakuja, unajua the number plate, kitukayo. So in case of anything, uneza sima the number plate and stuff like that. Kwa sasa wamejaripu kiasi tu sebe sasa kama, okay, hizo registered, hizo ubas. Eh, zikiwa kwa ndani ya hizo sacos ama ndani ya hizo sacos the drivers wenyewe wanaogopa ya kwamba wakifanya ukora fulani huenda ikawa watafuatiliwa na watashikwa eh, so na ndani hapo pia inawasaidia tu kukua na discipline eh, yeah. if they were doing enough then we would it be getting people being kidnapped and all that kind of stuff so um, they should do more, especially on who they recruit on their hubs, how they hire drivers or, or how they offer their services. They should uh, do, they should work more and get people who are uh, better qualified to do that. Yeah. I have heard of a few things and I feel, I feel like uh, they are trying to make taxis safer for us. And... Um, yeah, I feel they're doing something, at least. Mm -hmm. What I can say is that they are a business entity and uh, they try their level best. Their level best, not their best. Or maybe the best we would love them to attain. But let them do their part, that's what I can say. I'll allow them to do their part, but they're not doing that much because how I wish if a single person would order, would order an Uber, then if they could be having a arrangement for security, maybe a security, an escort to help you re, uh, reach your place or your destination in good time, so that we avoid such uh, uh, unfortunate happenings like what we call the kidnappings and uh, what have you. Yeah, recently they introduced uh, the share your ride. Like you can share your location as you ride with someone else. So in case of anything, someone else knows your location as, as you ride. Also, uh, Uber has a very good reporting system. I think uh, if you give a driver one star, they can really reprimand him, even cut his uh, fare, mm. and, and uh, give you a, like a remuneration. Mm. There are some who are doing anything uh, like when you work on apps, na wana jua kazi yao and they are trustworthy. Of course, lazima awa kuulize na kwa their app kuna number. Kuna number yako, lazima wa counter check. So yeah, there are some who are ensuring that safety and the others who are ignoring. What the app does is uh, to ensure that the customers are safe. First thing, they normally tell you, ensure that the vehicle that you have ordered is the one that has come to you. That, that's one thing they make it clear to you. And they tell you you pay, like when you border, you ensure that you, are, you reach your destination before you pay. So any other plate that you will be dropped is none of them. And then you ordered online, so you stay online. No need to go off. That's why they say it's online, an online taxi. You ordered online, so you stay online till you reach your destination. For them to be, to give them easy work to track. You know, when you're moving, they can track that this, this Uber, this taxi has been ordered from this place and it's like it's directed to a certain destination. 
They are doing enough. Uh, the, the taxi, uh, you know, especially the companies that run this online uh, taxi business, I can feel for them they have done enough. Uh, the rest is for uh, people, you know, citizens of this country. And, um, you know, safety starts with you. So each and every person has a, has a role. The company can only do so much. Like, you, you, you are able to, to notify someone else that you are using this Uber taxi. That's enough for them. The other is about us, citizens. Be your brother's keeper. And uh, basically, it is about economic times. When uh, hard times are there, people tend to, to go for easy way to get, not easy way, but any, anyhow, any way to get something in your pocket. And the easiest way is usually through force. And that's where now crime comes in. In the application, for example, Uber, I've seen that there are uh, special type of Uber like, uh, like Bolt for women. And uh, now that one guarantees safety for women. There's a complaint uh, where you can lodge your complaint in case uh, you don't feel safe. And you can always cancel the ride at any time you don't feel safe. But that one still does not guarantee you full safety. So maybe I'll just try and uh, to suggest to the to these apps, uh, the drivers who have been put on red alert may be cancelled or a, a complaint has been raised. They should be investigated and be was mamisho to Maramoja until the inv investigations are over. Yeah. So far, as you want any 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 between your maker and your relation your maker, relation your owner, Niki Niki Uliza, Amani, Jazzy, Pat. Na kwa na ensure my safety, like, how to wana provide service ya kuweka order, mutu wana uja kupik, anaenda, hivyo tu. Like, but so far, maybe wa hike vitu ingine ile nyo takuwa, itatuwe, itatupatia ile confidence ya kujua, hawa watakwana safety, watakwana to keep our safety ya kuhivyo. Whether they are doing enough, I'm not very sure, but what I can say is uh, the introduction of the taxi apps, is a big milestone to safety because uh, number one, if kitu uh, kiku happen here, they can always track the driver and in that way, kama uh, there's anything fishy that went on, anaweza shikwa and of course action ikwe taken. I think a way in which the apps do ensure that passengers are safe is by first of all ensuring that they have the five star rating and then apparently they also have a follow up in case you rated a one star they are going to call and find out what went wrong and then also they are providing you with a chance to share your trip with your friends so they can track how far you've gone. On to our last question. Do you think having taxes for a certain gender is a way of ensuring security in taxes? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yes, because some um, people prefer women drivers, some people prefer men drivers according to their situation. So if they improve on their services and include gender inclusivity, things will go well. Yeah. In a, like Mm, na prevent kama ni rape like let's say umeingia bolt moja na a man with bad intentions maybe anaweza ku rape but if it's women anaweza kuwa safe yeah i pesa india sana ko sasa actually ya uh, like to say sasa ya ladies pande ya ladies Tukisema kuna taxi za ladies, unajua pia kama itakuwa ni ya ladies, kuna ladies driver pia huku. Na pia uwezi ukajua, in short, naeza sema siyezi changia sana, siyezi, siyezi, siyezi sema ndiko. Njuu, hapo, siyo ni kiwa kisensi. Anyone can take you depending on what they want. 
it's not like it's one gender that is kidnapping or doing anything uh, like on the other so it's anyone can do anything to you so whether you have ubers for ladies and ubers for guys doesn't really change the fact that we are all humans yeah i think yeah, it might uh, but also i i feel like we shouldn't have to be that because i feel it's 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 a lot of, it's a big extent to go to uh, somebody should be able to feel safe uh, with in, in any taxi uh, and not not have to worry about maybe being assaulted or being harassed uh, but yeah it's a it's a good uh, it's a good option to explore different gender taxis yeah yeah well it's a uh, it's the new normal actually it should be actualized so that for the female uh, passengers they could feel uh, more secure when they have their fellow female because now there wouldn't there wouldn't be any problem but I've uh, I've come to realize that in one Uber uh, entity there was uh, the provision of female driven Uber and also female on board alone passenger uh, Ubers and so it, it's an improvement that maybe with time. Uh, we can advise our fellow, our fellow, fi our females, our g fellow gender, uh, maybe opposite gender, to implore those uh, avenues where they can have the female Ubers, uh, female Uber drivers, taking them to their destination. But of course, what I can say is that even men have uh, secured women in the past. So I think, with time, it also depends on who is now interested in having the female uh, Uber driven and also maybe who is interested in having driven by anybody randomly. But now it, it calls for uh, heightened security within us, within ourselves, so that it's uh, our own choice. Yes, I, I really think it, it, it really helps the security because uh, Bolt and Uber re recently rolled out the the women only. I think I'm not sure if it's Bolt or Uber. I think it's Bolt. Rolled out the women only, and I think it's because women are prone to a lot of uh, uh, danger, actually, and uh, they're very vulnerable uh, to such uh, very harmful situations. So uh, I think it's a good thing. Um, their safety should come first, yeah, since the, the the cases have there have been cases. So they're trying to reduce the cases and eradicate the cases. So I think it's a good thing. At times, in a part, in a part of you're late, maybe to work or somewhere else. Sasa, ukiwitafuta Uber, it's faster. Now, of course, when you ni safer. So, yeah, kwa na app na Uber for different genders, I think it's it's very easy. Yeah. To some extent, it is, but to some extent, it's not. Because if you imagine you are a lady alone and the person driving it is a gent, you get. Even though you have a phone, you have credit, you can call. But this person is more muscular than you. He's capable of doing anything. And once you're inside, he is able to lock the doors and you are unable to unlock. That's the other part of it, the dark side of it. Like it's insecure to some gents, to some ladies. Then. To an extent nowadays, you can order a taxi with many ladies and you are the only driver you get. So they can decide to tell you we are going to a certain destination. You think they are customers but they have got other plans ahead of you. They have plotted something, like you read them then you will be attacked. You snatch your vehicle and everything, you will be left there alone or either killed. So it's not, it's not secure at all. Then the other part that it's now so, so rampant or it's well known nowadays, the sexuality harassment. You order a bolt as a lady, and then a guy tells you, instead of you paying me this, let's have this in exchange of, let's have sex in exchange of payment you get. So if you are alone and you are not into that, he forces you. What will you do? It's already like sex 
harassment, sexual harassment, and it can lead the same. It can be vice versa. A lady asks the the driver to engage, and if he does, then she be like, "I'll scream. I'll tell these people that you wanted to rape me or you wanted to abduct me." So before people come to understand, to ask what is it, you know, it has already happened. Maybe you have already been mobbed. You've been attacked by the mob. So it becomes sad. To an extent, it's safe. To an extent, it's not. So it's, it all depends on weighing the, the parts, you know. But with me, I will say the being with the gender, it's not that safe. It doesn't. It doesn't. Anyone, either gender, can be a, a, a bad person, you know. It, it doesn't matter whether you are a woman or a man. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. We feel like at a female-driven taxis are safer, but even females are as equally as uh, you know dangerous as men. Yeah, actually, they they would even be worse because there's that perception that you are safe in a taxi driven by a woman, and basically they can use that eh, that notion to reach to you in, in a in a negative way. So it, that one does not matter. Yeah. I think it increases, and I want to applaud the those uh, Uber, the, the the taxi, the different type of companies that have introduced those taxi for genders, like for women, mm -hmm. because you 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 will feel safe with a female driver, uh, because mostly, I I can't say absolutely, <laughs> but but you you feel kinda safe. Yeah, you feel you feel kind of safe. So uh, I, I, I I would recommend that. I think it's it's a good idea. Yeah, I can say you in another side. Yeah, in another side. Yeah, you in another side. Yeah. Hmm. Kwagi, come on. Obviously, party wana ume. So you nika maita kwai shubile. Like ni obviously ita kwa ita kwa like ita kwa perfect kwa watu ingine. So I think you in another side. Yes, Anna. Yes, maybe no. Uh, yes, because. Of course, tumekuwa tukisikia a lot of uh, maybe talk of rape cases whereby unapata when a driver is a man, uh, of course, you know, ladies physically, they are not that gifted. So, and then unapata a man and a beba and then anampeleka places. And of course, ladies are easy to fight physically and, you know. Mm, so I think if, uh, for example, they are lady drivers, the, the 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 females will be a little bit safe, uh, but also uh, rape is not uh, the, uh, the the only bad thing that can ever happen, because of course kuna kuibiwa and all that. So the question uh, or the, the the answer is yes and no. I think it does not solve 100% of the problem because we cannot pin it on men or ladies that they are the bad guys. And also, apart from looking at sexual assault, we also have to remember that we have cases of human trafficking. So it's not really a gender issue. We have come to the end of the show. I am your host, SK Gitonga. See you next time. Same place, same time, doing the same thing. Bye.